In this video, I will show you how to redirect a web page to another page using PHP. We will discuss the different methods including how you can show a countdown timer before the redirection happens. So let's begin. For the purpose of this video, I have already created two web pages. An old page which has a light red background. The URL of this page is test slash old page dot php. And we want to redirect the old page to the new page which has a light green background and is located at the address test slash new page dot php. Back in the code editor, here is the old page dot php file, just a few lines of html. Similarly, this is the new page dot php file. Open the php tag at the beginning of the old page dot php file. Also make sure you close it just before the beginning of the doc type tag. To perform the redirect, we are going to use a built-in PHP function called header. So call the header function and inside that pass the argument location colon new page dot PHP. As you might guess, this string sets the location HTTP header. So if a web page has the location HTTP header set, then the browser redirects that page to the new URL. Followed by that, don't forget to call the die or exit function. This prevents execution of the remaining code. Now let's go to the browser and try loading the old page. And you can see that it instantly got redirected to the new page. We can use the browser's network tab to watch the redirect. I am using Firefox, so let me open the inspect tool, then go to the network tab. Load the page once again. Under the list of URLs, you can see the old page with the status code 302, followed by the new page with status code 200. Click on it to see the details, then if we open the row response headers, you can see the first line says HTTP slash 1.1302 found. That's a temporary redirect. And it's the default status code set by the header function unless you explicitly set the status code to something else. At the bottom, you can also see the location header with value new page dot PHP, which caused the redirect. Likewise, if we check the details for the new page dot PHP, then as expected, the status code is 200 OK. You can use either relative or absolute URL as the value of the location header. So let me replace it with absolute URL. And it works. An important thing you should keep in mind is to call the header function before any output. For instance, if I place an echo statement before the header function called, PHP will throw a warning. Cannot modify header, header is already sent. That's a common mistake people often make. Calling the header function within HTML also throws the same warning. Now let's see how you can use a different status code other than 302. For instance, 301 which means moved permanently. The header function allows three arguments. The header string which is the one we used just now, the second one is a boolean value and the third one is the status code value we want to set. It's an integer but it works even if we put the number inside quotes as a string. By the way, the second argument indicates whether to replace the existing header if one is already present. The default value is false which allows adding multiple headers with the same name. In this case, I am setting it to true as it makes sure this is the only location header value present. In the browser, try once again. And the status code is now 301 moved permanently. Permanent redirect is said to be better for SEO. Instead of doing it in a single line, you can also set the status code in a separate header function code. So let me delete the second and third arguments. Then call the header function again and pass the first line of the HTTP header, which includes the HTTP version, 
in this case it is http 1.1 then followed by that 301 moved permanently once again let's check that in the browser okay you can see the status code 301 308 is another status code used for permanent redirects which is slightly different from 301 as it does not allow the request method to be changed from post to get. So let's try that as well. Replace 301 with 308 and the message is permanent redirect. Again let's check that in the browser. But for some reason the change has not taken any effect. Still it is showing 301. So let me figure it out. Nothing serious, I had to disable the cache for the change to take effect. The previous status code was still persisting in the cache. Now let's test again. And this time you can see the 308 status code. You can see the same in the response headers as well. Likewise, you can also use other status codes. For instance, 307 which is also a code for temporary redirect. Instead of hard coding the HTTP version, you can also use the PHP super global variable along with the server protocol key to get the version used by the server. This can be helpful if you are not sure what version your server is using. Then concatenate that with the status code you want to set. Another alternative you can try is the HTTP response code function which accepts an integer as the response code. With that you don't need to test the HTTP version or the status text. All the methods we discussed so far instantly redirect the user to the new page. But there can be cases when you want to display a message then redirect after some delay. To achieve that delayed effect we can set the refresh header instead of location although it's not a standard way to perform redirects. However most browsers support this header so it works. Again call the header function to set the refresh header. Its value includes two things. The first one is the delay in seconds. Here I am setting it to 5 seconds. Then put a semicolon and the URL equals new page dot PHP. Delete the die function call as we want to display some output before redirecting. Now if I try loading the same page, it stays there for some time. Then redirects. You can also display a countdown timer with the help of a little bit of HTML and JavaScript. Here I am adding a new heading tag. Inside that enter the message you will be redirected in the time. That is the count. Let's wrap it inside a span element. Seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. Next we want to add the JavaScript code. To animate the timer. For that let's add a script tag below the closing body tag. Inside that let's create a new variable called count element which selects the span element using the query selector method. Then create another element called count and initiate its value to 10. Then create a variable called timer and assign its value to the set interval function which receives a handler function and the interval in milliseconds. Then define the handler function which actually decrements the count variable. Variable handler equals we are using the arrow function
count element dot inner html equals count minus minus. Also, we want to stop the timer if the value of count reaches zero. So if count equals zero, clear interval timer. Okay, that's all with the JavaScript part. Now let's test it in the browser. And one more thing, we want to set the delay to 10 seconds in the header function call as well. Refresh 10. Load the old page in the browser and we can see the message. You will be redirected in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and it got redirected. Instead of setting the refresh header using PHP, you can also use the meta HTTP EQ tag. So here I have deleted all the PHP part and adding the meta tag. Meta HTTP dash EQ equals refresh and its content equals 10 semicolon new page dot php it should display the same effect as before if you set the content value to zero then the page will redirect instantly Finally, let's discuss one more method which relies on pure JavaScript. Before that, let me delete the meta tag. And inside the script tag, we can use the window.location.replace function and pass the URL of the new page. If you want, you can put it inside a set timeout to delay the redirection. Okay, it's working. However, don't rely on JavaScript to perform important page redirects because it may not work if the visitor has JavaScript disabled. So I prefer doing it on the server side using PHP. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.